Okay, you know, I get it. Sometimes people get lonely. Sometimes people start looking for love in all the wrong places. But if your dying cat starts looking good, you might want to get some help. Oh yeah, that happened. Here are 10 people who married non-human things. Number 10 is a dying cat. Back in 2010, 39-year-old Yu Mitch Scherlich of Posendorf, Germany, married his aging and deathly ill cat, Cecilia. The idea came to Yu after his 15-year-old obese and asthmatic feline companion was examined by a veterinarian, who determined that she would soon die. Shockingly, marrying an animal in Germany doesn't exactly fly with the authorities, so Yu hired television actress Kristen Maria Lorre to act as an unofficial officiator for their wedding. Lori was paid $428 for the job after learning that it was indeed a real offer and not just a weird joke. Can you put the ring on her little paw finger for me? Thank you! You also invited his twin brother Eric to be the best man and a witness to the events. Tired and cold Cecilia wore a cat-sized wedding dress that she looked absolutely miserable in. How exactly does a cat meow, I do? May I do? May I? Something like that. Number nine is the Berlin Wall. Ich bin ein crazy! Ija Rita Berliner Mauer was born in Sweden in 1954 and was the first and only known person to have married the Berlin Wall. In 1961, when she was just seven years old, Ija saw the wall's completion on television and fell in love with it, literally. She began planning trips to Germany to visit the wall, visiting it five times over the course of several years before finally deciding to get engaged. During her sixth trip to Berlin on June 17, 1979, when she was 25 years old, she married the concrete wall and took the German surname Berliner Mauer, meaning Berlin Wall. She fully devoted herself to the structure in the name of love, but sadly the relationship ended on June 13, 1990, after 11 years of marriage when the wall's demolition began. Please don't take it down, I like to snuggle with it at night. Ija then became the wall's widow and never again returned to Berlin. Cause she a crazy! Number 8 is a pillow. I get it, you like to snuggle with your pillow, but don't take it any farther than that, you weirdo. Pillow talk has an intimate meaning for most people, but for 35-year-old Lee Jin Gyu of South Korea, pillow talk is literally how he communicates with his wife. Lee owns a full-sized body pillow with the image of a petite blonde anime character named Fate Testarossa printed on it. His friends have said that he is obsessed with the pillow, bringing it with him wherever he goes, and allowing it to sit on theme park rides, and even trying to feed it its own meals. Would you like some pork and beans or are you already stuffed? <laughs> they had already been dating for six years when they decided to tie the knot in Japan in March 2010 with the help of a priest who somehow agreed to officiate the ceremony. The pillow wore a wedding dress on the special day and refused to eat any cake as she was already stuffed. Hopefully married life is working out for Lee and Fate, but even if it isn't, I'm sure their fights are fun. Get it? Number seven is a sex doll. You know, love can be hard to come by, but for Dave Cat, a 44-year-old man living in Detroit, Michigan, who prefers to go by his online nickname, he found love after filling out an online order form. Since 2001, Dave Cat has been married to a realistic sex doll he named Sidor. Sidor cost him $5,000 and was manufactured with a silicone body and a poseable PVC skeleton by a company called Abyss Creations in California who shipped her to Detroit in a crate. Though she's only a lifeless doll, Dave Cat has imagined an entire personality for her, including her own religious beliefs, her own heritage, accent, and interests. And believe it or not, Dave Cat purchased another sex doll that he named Alina, this time from a Russian company, to act as his mistress and a companion for Sidor when he's away at work. How thoughtful of him. Number six is the Eiffel Tower. 
Well, these keep getting weirder. 45-year-old Erica Labrie is a former US Air Force cadet and world champion archer, but is most famous for being the lady who married the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the one in Paris, France, that one. Labrie, who lives in San Francisco, started a successful archery career back in 1999, where she developed a strong relationship with her competition beau named Lance. I don't even wanna know what she did with that thing. In 2004, she became extremely attractive to the Eiffel Tower, and after a three-year relationship, she decided to marry the 118-year-old Iron Tower in 2007. Since her marriage to the giant tourist attraction that was attended, by the way, by her friends, she has taken the surname La Tour Eiffel and set her sights on the Berlin Wall. Oh god, not another one! Erica now spends her days living in Berlin and visiting Berlin Wall museums while remaining a dedicated spouse to her tower. Ooh, Someone better call Jerry Springer because that tower's being cheating on by that hussy Berlin Wall. Better recognize. Number five is an amusement park ride. Rides at amusement parks can be a joy to experience over and over again. That is, of course, until it's time to go home. But Amy Wolf of New York has taken the joy of one ride to obsessive lengths. Amy fell deeply in love with a ride called 1001 Knocked, a $2 rotating gondola thrill ride at Nobel's, an amusement park in Ellisburg, Pennsylvania. She's ridden Knocked over 3,000 times since they first met back in 19. 1989 when she was just 13. Years later, she would make increasingly frequent trips out to visit the ride, and in 2009, she decided to join with it in marriage. Since then, Amy has adopted the surname Weber after Noct's manufacturer and has taken some of its spare nuts and bolts home so that they can always be close. She just wants to be close to its nuts. As for the thousands of people that ride 1001 Noct every year, Amy swears that she feels no jealousy towards them. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Maybe because it's not live. <laughs> Number four is a video game character. When Nintendo created their handheld Nintendo DS game system, I'm pretty sure they didn't envision someone marrying a character in it. In 2010, a man nicknamed Sal9000, of course he named himself that, held a wedding ceremony for himself and his video game partner, Nin Angasaki. In case you're wondering, Nin is a character from the Konami dating simulation game, Love Plus, which was released exclusively in Japan in 2009. The wedding ceremony was held at the Tokyo Institute of Technology and was attended by Sal's friends who described him as a virtual ladies man. Mm -hmm. Prior to his committed relationship with Neen, Sal was known for having a number of different video game girlfriends. Ah, but now that Sal has married his beloved, he'll have to keep his wandering eyes away from the newer and improved video game models. You know what I'm saying? You better keep that focus on his wife because she got batteries to charge. You know what I'm saying? Number three is a dolphin. In December of 2005, 41-year-old British millionaire Sharon Tendler got married to a male dolphin named Cindy, short for Cinderella, at Elat Reef in southern Israel. She had met Cindy 15 years earlier in what she described as a love at first sight scenario with the alpha dolphin who has become the father of all the other dolphins in the area. You were probably worried I was gonna say the father of her children. No, that would have been monsters. Tendler, who lives in London, would travel to Israel multiple times a year ever since their first encounter, eventually deciding that if she liked him so much, then she had better put a ring on his flipper. If you like it, then you better put a <laughs> on it. Sharon held the wedding on a dock at the reef and gave Cindy a big old kiss followed by a piece of herring. Sadly though, six months after the ceremony, Cindy became ill and passed away at the ripe old age of 40. Ah, that's a shame. Perhaps if Tendler had fallen in love sooner, the wedding would have had served a more youthful porpoise. Sorry, I'll move on. Number two is a stone. Yep. 
In March of 2016, Tracy Eman, an English artist, declared at her art exhibition in Hong Kong that she had married a stone in the summer of 2015. Oh, Matt, like Mick Jagger? Like the Rolling Stones? No, a physical rock. She explained that the ordinary rock is quite large, beautiful, and ancient, and sits on a hill facing the sea by her studio in France. Well, it certainly sounds romantic, but despite its inability to reciprocate any feelings of love, Eamon says that the rock is her anchor in life and will never leave. Yeah, that's because it's a stone that can't move. For the ceremony, Eamon found a ring to wear and used her late father's white funeral shroud as a wedding dress to marry the stone. She says that no matter how unstable or crazy her life gets, she knows that she can count on the stone being there for her, still sitting patiently as it waits for her to come back and the thought of it helps comfort her. You know, isn't that really what we all want? Love. Someone to be your rock? Moving on. And number one is a photo of themselves. On January 1st, 2007, the locals of a village near Guangzhou, China were treated to a confusing but extravagant wedding ceremony for a man in a large photo cutout of himself. No, the man was not Kanye West. Yes, 39-year-old Liu Yi chose to marry himself, citing his dissatisfaction with reality as the motive. Though he was just marrying a silly image, he did not skip out on all the bells and whistles of a traditional Chinese marriage ceremony. Ceremony. Yi's friends attended the wedding in the village square where locals looked on and tried to decipher what exactly was going on. It's okay everybody, it's alright, he's just crazy, don't worry, it's contained craziness, we got this. Yi could have chosen to marry an image of pretty much anyone he wanted to, but instead he chose to use one of himself in a pretty red dress. When asked why, he stated that he's a little bit narcissistic. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, better hope it never rains because he's going to have to attend a soggy funeral. So that was 10 people who married non-human things. If you enjoyed this, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Meow, meow.